can't see. Oh! What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back with some more Remnant 2, and I have perfected my Crimson Moon Bow build. I had another build I put up last time, and I got some recommendations for using Shroud, which is a build I was using right now to make it seem invisible. It's absolutely amazing. I switched up one of my accessories, and now we just get some absolutely juicy damage. So my family, about to go over the build, all the things you need to make it happen. Without further ado, let's dab in. So as you saw, this is an amazing weapon. I love using it because it's quick, it's fast. A couple of things you need to do to make this thing amazing. One, I will recommend using this amulet because it increases your overall damage by 15%. I had to make some sacrifices here. I had another ring that gives me 7% increased damage overall, but this thing is just so juicy because it gives me 30%. My crit damage increased by 30%, so we kind of have to do it because with my effect in here, I get 15%, I get 15% crit for a chance. With here, I get another 5%, that's 10, that's 20%. Over here, I get another 5%, that's 25%. Then when I hit my super over here, oh yeah, and over here we get a higher crit rate chance so we're critting quite a good amount of times so i recommend if you guys are using it then you kind of want to use this blowout out because you could just do some disgusting numbers and the, sh the shot i was showing right now in the opening scene i wasn't even using my special i wasn't even using my special so let's just go ahead and put everything together so i have i got that 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 oh my God, look at the damage. You would just absolutely melt bosses. And what's cool about that little thing coming back to me, this weapon has health regen on the super. It gives you, I believe, 5% of your overall attack health when you attack an enemy with those. So one, you're doing crazy damage. You're wrecking fools, but at the same time, you're healing yourself as well. Because it's a raw, raw bow, raw bow, and there's a lot of big damage, that percentage you get back is really high. So I recommend checking it out. And also too, what this does is your sh enemies can't see you. And when you come out, you get they get ambush on them, which means that you have two seconds to attack them. And that's how you do these stupid damage numbers like I'm getting right now. So this thing is just 4,000 damage, please. And also too, like if you're looking at this, I haven't even finished it yet. I, I'm still not to the point where I can get my Mystic Relics yet. When I get my Mystic Relic and I get 15% raw weakness spot, 15% range damage, 50% crit. Oh, I got I got 10% crit chance here. So if I get this even higher, 15% crit chance, it's going to be absolutely amazing. This chef gets amazing. So this is what we're going to rock in. Armor. I like using armor. Light. That's kind of what I'm rocking right now. These two doesn't really matter. This one must have. Can someone else recommend me another good AOE weapon? Cause I've been using Enigma for a long time. I kind of want to switch it up and see what else is out there. But like this is my good to go to apocalypse and game weapon. So I recommend that. When it comes to my trade, this is what I got going on. I got these two because one, it comes with it. I like this one you get from Invader. It gives me more evade window when I'm dodging. So I'm not getting hit. Health is important, max that out. Stamina is important, max that out. I want to get my mod power back because as you saw, it's just absolutely disgusting when I'm using it. So I want to get that back as soon as possible. Then skill cooldown because I want to use my trial skill. I want to use bullet storm because that's where I get my, I have really good DPS standard, my skills. But when I hit my supers, my skills, that's when we get disgusting damage. So you want to get that as fast as possible. We don't need experience. We're not level enough right now. Next, I got bear skin because damage reduction, self-explanatory. You want to decrease the damage you got going on. And last but not least, I like Life Seal, especially with my skill. I get my skill back fast, so I can use this sooner, and I can heal more, and I'm just always at full health. So this is like a really, really good Life Seal build because of how fast this weapon is. So let's kind of see. We got a skill going right now. We got everything going. And we're just pumping out the damage. Pumping it out the damage. So now the skill's gone. Now my situation, look how much we build. We build that really fast. That's like four or five, four, or 10 hits, and boom, it's back up. And we can do even more damage again. But now I think I explained the full build. Everything you need, yep, inventory, traits. 
Yep, 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 we're pretty good. So now let's, let's just go have some fun and fight some enemies and see how juicy it can be. What I'm gonna show you guys as well, I'll just add more value to the video. This is kind of one of the best routes to farm in the game. If you want to kind of level up your characters, there's two ways you can go about this. The first route is you come over here and you would, there's three elites. <clears throat> there's gonna be one over here. As you can see, they got this dude. And him, he's done. Then we got my man down here. We take him out. The only thing about these, these guys don't have weak spots, so we're losing damage. But I kind of wanted to show you, even without the weak spot damage, we're still going to do doing good, pretty good damage. And as you guys can see, after that round, my super is already back up. So now we're ready to let it roll again. And the third is up here. Right. This dude. And I always love showing off the parish because just the damage is just insane. And also too, these guys, they have weak spots. So it gives me an opportunity to show the build a little differently. Boom, look at that. Just disgusting. And it's just that juicy on um, bosses as well. I you can't see. Oh my God. This, this is the best skill. Absolutely amazing. If you're running Hunter, you have to run it. You absolutely have to run it. So we got an elite right here. But look at this. Absolutely. Melter. And we didn't even get any crits on that one. Now let's see what this does against a boss. We gotta get some headshots. If we hit our headshots, absolutely melts. Oof. Oh, and we have just enough for our supers back. And look at that easy. If we hit all of our shots, <laughs> it would have been even easier. But ladies and gentlemen, that is a showcase of what this weapon could do, what this build can do. The only thing holding you back is your aim in those situations. But if you want to snipe, do big damage, disgusting, 4,000 damage on bosses as well. This is the build I'm using. It's disgusting. It makes the game so much fun. Just walk through and just nuke everything. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new, make sure you guys subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Till next time, dear gamers, signing out.